Hello, so um, welcome to this LaTeX tutorial. So if you have clicked on the link to open the LaTeX tutorial overleaf, then this is what you should see on your screen. If you take a look at the left pane here, we don't need that. And the middle two, maybe you can shape them so that it's about half and half. What um, Overleaf is, is it's an online platform where you can use LaTeX. So what is LaTeX? LaTeX is, it's basically a sort of um, a method of programming a PDF output file. So on the left hand pane here, you see the actual input code that the LaTeX compiler uses. So this is all written in text. It is just a text file, but it contains instructions for how to produce the pretty output on the right. And so this is the LaTeX tutorial output over here. And if I change something in the text file over here, so for example, right here is my name, your name here, I could change that to Kate, and I recompile then I will see on the right hand side that the name has changed to Kate. Um, so in this LaTeX tutorial here, um, uh, the, um, anything that you see that begins with a percentage symbol here on the line, Overleaf will tend to draw it in uh, blue. Um, if you have software on your computer, uh, you may or may not have that. That is a comment. That's something that the LaTeX compiler completely ignores. And all of the other stuff is what the LaTeX compiler reads. Um, right here is some uh, instructions to start the document, document class, and then some various headers that set up the style for the document and things like that. Um, I'm going to ignore all of that for now and start just at begin document. And that's where the commands that actually produce the output uh, start. So here we begin with the title command and it produces the title and so on and so forth. Um, so LaTeX um, LaTeX has built in all sorts of nice uh, stylistic choices. So you just have to tell it things like, I would like a bulleted list, I'd like a paragraph, here I want an equation, and it will figure out how to typeset it nicely. Um, flip side of that is that if you want to change that standard formatting, you have to learn a lot more about LaTeX. But if you're just LaTeX in your homework, you generally won't need to. Um, so in here I've got set up a title, author, date. There's a command for today, commands in LaTeX are generally uh, backslash and then a word, and that tells LaTeX to, to find something. This one finds today's date and puts it in your file for you. Um, so basically, uh, to use this tutorial, you should open this up on your own computer and just start playing around. So basically, in the tutorial itself, the um, bullets that are provided here are actually instructions for using the tutorial. So you can just go through each of these and try to answer the questions and typeset the answers to the questions or correct the typesetting um, as it describes. And in the process of doing that, you'll learn some of the basic things that you would want to know to be able to typeset your own homework in LaTeX. Um, also, uh, there's one really important thing generally to know about LaTeX before you start diving into the code and messing around with it to see what happens. And that is as the compiler reads, it reads from the beginning to the end, and at any time it thinks um, that what it's reading is either text mode or math mode. So if you're in text mode, you can just write words like you would in an email, and those words um, will show up as words in paragraphs um, when it is typeset. But when you're in math mode, um, it will interpret all of the stuff that it's reading as instructions for creating math symbols, and it will behave differently. And to switch between the two different modes, um, you generally use a dollar sign. So here in this first sentence, in the first bullet, use summation, notation, etc., you'll see this dollar sign, which means I'm switching from text mode, where I was just writing some words, to math mode, where I want to write an equation. And then this dollar sign um, ends the math mode and switches back to text mode when you've finished with the little equation that you wanted to include. Another way to enter math mode is to write uh, an equation math mode, which means it sets it apart um, in, the, in the body of the text. So here this equation is set apart nicely with some white space. It's not in line with the writing. Um, to do that, you can begin equation and then you're in um, this equation math mode right here and then end equation when you want to go back to writing paragraphs of text. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. If, you, um, if you're not careful about going between the modes, it will get confused and do strange things. So for example, if I delete this dollar sign right here and ask it to recompile, then you'll end up seeing that it thinks it continues in math mode. And so to rewrite the following, those words right there, to rewrite the following, it interprets that as a bunch of variables that should be multiplied together and writes them this way and it looks horrible. So when it does strange behaviors like that, it's usually because it got confused about where math mode um, 
uh, begins or ends. So let's put that dollar sign back in, and now it knows to only treat that little bit as math mode and to continue in text mode afterwards, and it looks nice again. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, another important tip is detechify. You'll find a link here in the document to detechify. Each of these things you might plan to use has a command. So for example, when I want to put a fraction, you'll see right here the corresponding stuff in the code is the fraction command. Um, in order to use that, um, you need to know what it is. Um, if you want a particular symbol, like uh, the sum symbol here, the command is sum. So um, when you're looking to find out what the commands are for the things you want to write, you can go to detechify. Let's open that up in another tab. And here in Detectify, you can draw the symbol that you're interested in having. So if you want a plus minus symbol, which might look something like this, you draw it and it will try to guess what symbol you might want to use. Um, here, it didn't guess exactly the one I was expecting. It gave text PM and notice that it says that's in text mode. I would really rather have the symbol in math mode because maybe I'm planning to use this in, a, um, in an equation. Let me give it another try and see if I get any better results. Aha, math mode, there it is. So if I want a plus minus symbol, in math mode I can use backslash PM to produce the plus minus symbol. Okay, so that's how you use Detechify. It's a super useful tool. All of the other standard sorts of mathematical things that you might want to use, you should be able to find um, in this document. Um, it's especially designed maybe for somebody who's taking a uh, a first course in discrete mathematics and proof writing and that sort of thing. Um, so there's some set builder notation, um, things like that. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you'll see examples of the general sorts of things that you might want to have. And also if you go back to the blog post that linked to this tutorial, you'll find a few more such as how to write a matrix. Um, so I suggest if you'd like to learn LaTeX, you just work through this document, try to do the instructions in the tutorial itself. And, um, and hopefully uh, you have somebody around to answer a couple of questions if you get stuck on something. Uh, good luck and have fun.